So what you need is uh, a pen. You need uh, also this wonderful cutter. Very good, simple, easy. Okay, here we go. You do a mark and you cut straight. Okay, check to see if it fits. If it does, you cut 45. Okay, so the purpose of uh, this uh, sample was because uh, we are going to do a curved wall and since we can't do seams with a machine, we are going to have to put seams with two CES facing each other. Mark in the center. Cut it in half. Cut it at 45 again. Put it on here like this. And put it on here like that. Okay. You do the same thing on the bottom. Mark, you don't need to measure it. It's easier like this. See how easy it is? Fast. What I like to use is the bread nailer with uh, three quarters of an inch bread nails. Why three quarters of an inch? It's because usually the drywall is half an inch and the CES is a quarter inch, so you don't want everything to go through the drywall because you never know if they have electricity, pipes, whatever. Okay, so you don't need to put pressure, just let it butt against the molding or whatever. Make sure it touches. Now I'm going to do the sides, same thing, but we don't have to cut the center. So put a mark. Forty-five. Forty-five. Check if it fits. So it's always a little big when you do your mark because of the other one who fits in there. So you just recut it. You don't want it to force, okay? You just want it to fit in there. Like if you have a hair in between those 45, okay? There you go. Nice and clean. Bread nails. Same thing here. So. Here you have a 245. This is going to be a seam. Like I said, the customer can't, we can't put sewing machine seams because it's a curve, inside curve wall, so we have to put two CES facing each other. So, same thing. Distance, put a mark. Cut it straight. 
5 You don't staple it right away because you want everything to be perfect. So, take another mark. Forty-five. See how simple it is. A big. So you want to be as precise as possible. So you're supposed to be a professional. Okay. See? So you want it to be nice and flat. You hold them both together and one on each side. Now, this is your seam. Usually, if you do a sewing machine seam, you don't have this part. You just go straight and you stretch and you have your seam, sewing machine straight. This one is already straight. 